it is important that you understand um, the, the concept of attestation. Attestation is, uh, as Ram, I think, mentioned earlier, is uh, an ability of, uh, in the standards, uh, and on the right-hand side here, the three levels are actually defined based on the current 1074 errata uh, standard. Uh, these are really defining an association from the participant and, and the carrier that's um, been approved into the ecosystem, uh, the relationship that they have between uh, themselves, the customer, and the telephone number identity. And I'm not going to go through the standards piece of this, but the the, the verbal, uh, um, uh, more human kind of examples on the left there are things that we will build on. And we mentioned the A, B, and C. And and the fear here is that uh, depending on how these attestations are applied, you start to potentially define different tiers of, of um, credibility of originating providers. Um, that may not be uh, that may fall into certain use case. So let's let's tee that up. So let's look at next slide on it. Just a typical, the most standard consumer oriented shaken per call authentic authentication. We have the the, the um, originating carrier responsible for the 908-666-10,000 uh, block here. And if you click the slide, uh, yeah, so they're going to make a phone call from a number that they've assigned from that consumer. It gets signed and carrier A tells carrier B, this is my customer. I gave him this telephone number and the call originated on my network. That truly a, uh, an attestation A can't contest that. And then one more click, everything on the uh, analytics and the stir, shake and verification should, under normal conditions, should verify and the terminating provider has no real information in this case to treat this call any differently than a um, what I would say as uh, highly trusted unless the analytics really uh, showed something otherwise. But I'm assuming that the analytics is going to support this uh, consumer case here. And then lastly, you can see that uh, if you I'm sorry, uh, go back one. The, the last thing here is that the, indi the indicator that gets sent on the wire is this concept of a verstat v-e-r-s-t-a-t -E attribute and uh, that's defined in the three 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 gpp standards but uh, it's a, it's a simple indication of what happened as part of the verification process at this point in time more importantly if we go to the next slide let's look at a different example here and i'm, I'm calling uh, the customer here a reseller um, think of that bubble as anyone who is um, providing phone service and uh, they are leasing phone numbers from one or, uh, from multiple carriers. In this case, we'll say multiple carriers. So, uh, and I, I didn't mention on the other other one. We're assuming end-to-end -end IP here. So, just uh, just to cl clarify that. So, in this case, now the reseller. I'm just going to call it a reseller. Um, is that they're making a call from a number that was assigned from carrier B, but by using least cost routing and, and, and what other mechanisms, that call is going to then originate through carrier A. And they're the ones that are actually signing because they are the ones that have that phone number. And they're the ones that are currently part of the shaken ecosystem as, as we see it being defined so far. So carrier A is now telling carrier C that this is my customer, the call originated on my network. However, this is not my phone number. And really by the letter of the standards that that really would fall into an attestation B. And then the question really becomes that the verification will pass, right? If, 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 if it was constructed properly, I mean, you can have a successful stir shake and verification with attestation B. But the question is when you combine this with analytics and, and other local policies, since that's not defined in standards, how is that courtesy gonna treat this call? And I think the, the challenge here is that, you know, those folks that are doing legitimate calling on the originating side that may fall into this group of use cases, I'm not gonna go into all the use cases, but I think hopefully this will give you an idea of whether this is a, a potentially a challenge uh, for you participating in this ecosystem. Um, this will give you um, the, the concern Concern about trying to look at from an industry standpoint we're now looking at how do we provide a mechanism and a structure to provide attestation a for such for, for such um, use cases